Good evening, uh, Superintendent Dr. Phyllis, distinguished board members, Alfredo Rubalcaba, CEO and Superintendent of Magnolia Public School. On October 8th, uh, we sent a letter to both the Board of Education and Dr. Um, Phillips' office. And in part, we also delivered this letter to district offices today. My correspondence today covers specific areas of our responses to the district staff findings in the letter. Magnolia Public Schools strongly disagree with the staff report because it lacks both legal merit and factual accuracy and therefore is an imp impermissible basis for denial of the Charter Renewal Petition of Magnolia Science Academy Santa Ana. In the area of state achievement data, district staff states MSA Santa Ana presents an unsound educational program for the pupils enrolled at MSA Santa Ana because there are disparities in state achievement and therefore the educational program is unlikely to be of educational benefit, quote unquote. MSA Santa Ana has been proudly and successfully serving Orange County and the surrounding communities with high quality and high achieving programs focusing on STEAM with 100% graduation rate and over 95% UC CSU acceptance rates. Our students continue performing higher than many of the comparable schools in Santa Ana Unified School District in the Smarter Balance Assessments. Our MSA Santa Ana SPAC school-wide grade level and subgroup proficiency data in both ELA and math has been higher than a large percentage of comparable schools for the last three years. This information is reflected in our petition and our response letter, so I'm not sure why the district staff decided to overlook these critical data points that provide clear and convincing evidence that Santa Ana, MSA Santa Ana provides a sound educational program and shows that we are providing an educational benefit to our students. In short, the district staff findings lack legal merit and make plain its closed and uncommunicated charter review process. It's unfortunate that staff have taken this stance because our Santa Ana students, families, teachers, and communities deserve a fair process to continue receiving a high quality education. I ask that the Santa Ana Unified Board of Education reject the district staff's recommendations and approve the charter renewal for Magnolia Science Academy Santa Ana. Go ahead, Rosie. Erica Ramirez. Kobe Luciani and Maria Ramirez. So there is a two minute limit, just to remind everybody, please. Say Santa Ana, and I will graduate in 2020. I plan on focusing in a medical field once I graduate from MSA. 